All in favor? The man in the middle, Joseph Cairo, is president of NASA OTB, earning $198,000 a year. Cairo is also NASA's new Republican chairman, another annual salary, $120,000. In addition, Cairo has an established Long Island private law practice. Patronage on Long Island is a political way of life. It is what greases the wheels of political organizations, provides their foot soldiers. A time-honored or a time-dishonored tradition, whichever the case, it is perfectly legal here. I think as long as he's an honest man, why not? Voters have mixed reactions. Definitely a conflict of interest. If he's abusing the office, if I worked a separate job, my boss would fire me. We tried Cairo's Valley Stream Law Office, again at off-track betting in Mineola and GOP headquarters in Westbury, Mr. Cairo, they said, was too busy to answer our questions. Some watchdogs complain that allowing people to simultaneously hold top jobs in government and party leadership opens the door to potential corruption. George Marlin, former NASA Interim Finance Authority member, critical of Cairo wearing three hats, earning three fat paychecks. NASA elected officials of every stripe should be banging the pots and pans to demand he resign. It's an outrage. They learn nothing from all these scandals. He's referring to recent arrests of Gerard Terry, Dean Skelos, Ed Mangano, John Venditto. NASA's new executive signed orders barring county government officials from holding party positions. But at this time, we're told via email, Joseph Cairo has no plans to relinquish any of his jobs. From Mineola, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. And in a statement, NASA OTB said there is no ethical or legal constraint from holding the three jobs and that Republicans and Democrats have done so in the past.